Oh. All right, here we go. It wouldn't work in this lab. Okay, share. Copy the clipboard. The chat now. I don't understand what's going on. It's like now I'm having all these issues. Okay. My bad. I was having so many technical. I don't know if y'all seen the last live. Well, it was like it was a couple minutes ago, but um the web the, the camera went up, so I couldn't even see. Give it time to load up it does they appreciate you, Jay. Hey Miss Queach, how you doing? I'm seeing the chat as far as me. It's like I can't type nothing in the chat, which I mean not that I necessarily need to, but how we doing Tuesday, work day? How everybody doing? I know Saturday, I know. I know y'all miss me. I miss me too. Yeah, Jay, I like I like that, Jay. I like that. I, I with the business here. Hey Tia Quay, how you doing? Oh. But nah, I hope nobody's seen that last link because the last stream it didn't want even the camera wasn't working i was just looking like i don't know but today we got the lebron james saint vincent saint mary's jersey real i don't even know if it's rare is it rare real legendary though How everybody doing though man y'all i talk about it last time i talked to y'all was last tuesday it was last Tuesday. So what has happened since last Tuesday? Let me think. Yeah, the Lady Tigers. Mm -hmm. We got a lot, man. Miss Gina, how you doing? Where are some people go? I'm really trying to see what's wrong. And why the chat. Y'all can hear me or do I got to put these all the way on? Because I know they're not all the way on. Did you, I surely did pass my new, I, I surely did pass my midterm. I did. Got about another, what, hard month? Oh, I see now. Can hear me fine? Good. Good. But I did. We got about another, what, month? Left in school? High school. Another two months. Another month, not too much longer. I'm almost that time. Almost with summertime. Because we get out, we get out in May. So January, February, March. April's next week. Right? Well, this weekend? No, next week. April starts next week. So, yeah. Dang, school really for me. But, yeah, I did pass my midterms in, in shorter words. Okay, we just got a new subscriber. I don't know who. But we did. Shout out to whoever you are. A23. Subscriber account. But man, okay, let's give us a quick update. So I have to call Best Buy. I think I'm gonna end up calling Best Buy tomorrow. Order the camera. Order the camera March 13th. It is March 26th. Well, no, no, no. I'm, I'm not telling the truth. I ordered the camera before the 13th, but it was supposed to get here on the 13th, but it hasn't. So yeah, and if I go check it, it simply just says delayed. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, customer support. But see, I don't know if I should call Best Buy or UPS because it says shipper created a label. UPS has not received the package yet, so I don't know. 
I'm going to call him. I'm going to figure it out. I'm just, you know, I'm just like, what's going on? Call both. I got you, Jay. I'm going to call both because I don't, I'm not a fan of that, man. I told you I was, gonna have, I was supposed to have a video out with the camera. I was expecting to be there that weekend. I was expecting to be there that weekend and they couldn't even get there. What's up, boss man Antonio? How you doing? How we doing? But yeah, man, that just makes me upset because I'm supposed to have my I'm supposed to have my um my videos out, you know. How you doing, T Bunny? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. And I don't like, you know, nothing I don't like, y'all. I don't like how when you get on camera, well, not on camera, but like right now, like how it flips. So, like, my right, my left, because I be trying to, you know, because this is my right to me. With y'all, is my left. So, when I do this, well, wait, am I saying that backwards? I think I'm saying it. Well, oh, it's probably not flipped on this one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. Long day. Not a long day. Good day. But, um, yeah, shout out. Since we're here, we just going to get it going. Shout out to the ladies basketball team. Man, man, won a swag, swag champions, won a tournament. Um, last year, we lost buzzer beater to Southern. They ended up playing Sacred Heart, and they lost. If we would have played Sacred Heart, we would have won. But that's neither here nor there. Play Sacred. I mean, we lose. I mean, we win the tournament. We go to the game versus UConn. And man, leading up to the game, what up, Prince? You couldn't really tell me that them Lady Tigers wasn't gonna do it. Man, I was so excited, man, especially at the beginning of the game, if I'm not mistaken. Crump, my Crump, Miss Crump had with like the first four. Oh, she scored the first two. She it was one in there. Like she scored the first jumper. I know she scored the first jumper, but I'm trying to see if she scored the first four points. It was one of them. But man, I was hyped, man. And um, man, I just feel as if right there, we're right there. We we're right there, man. It was such a good game. Shout out to Paige. I mean, she is everything as advertised. Like, that's a cold for the killer. I can't even lie. And I actually seen a tweet, and you know, it was like, if Paige doesn't have those ACL tears to ACL injuries, Paige Beckers is exactly where Kaylin Clark is right now. As far as what Kaylin Clark, ah, Kaylin Clark has broke the record. She hasn't won the national title, but she's broke the record. She's been dominating, playing good ball in her conference and against other schools. Um, NILs and all that good stuff. And I seen that tweet and I was like, they're not lying. Cause Paige been that girl. Paige been that girl since high school. Cause I remember I actually had the chance to hear her play once in person. But anyway, yeah, cold blooded. And the other girl, uh, Edwards, she was cold. And another thing, I like how, look, I like how our girls fought. Miss Angel Jackson. Cause that big girl for you could couldn't she she could do that with you. Was I be with the game first started? I kind of well, I think it was two blocks. That's what I was telling folks, bro. Paige been that yes, Paige has been that girl since high school. And then it's another chick on her team. Um Foot. I actually think, I actually think, um, I think Fudd was probably the better player, but if I'm not mistaken, I think she injured too. Or oh, she was the better player in high school. I mean, both go to college, you know, college and high school different. But then she she tore something. She she, she injured herself herself as well. Boom, she did go. Fudd tore ACL in November. She tore ACL in November. 
And yeah, but I always thought Fud was better. I know in high school, Fud was cold blooded, and I thought she was better than, than in college, yeah. And then she told she just tore ACL in November. So it's like, man, you know, but I feel as if we are so close. I mean, take away from the game, we have a lot of girls graduating. We have a lot of young ladies graduating, young women graduating. And I mean, Coach Reed gonna do what Coach Reed do, we just gotta recruit. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, who's out leaving? Is Miss Tilly leaving? Y'all can everybody in the comments. Miss Tilly. Um, is Crump? Is she over done with her? Crump? Angel. Um I said Tilly, I said Crump, I said Angel. Keyshana. It's Keyshana. So that's Tilly Crump. Tilly Crump. Keyshana. Tilly has one more. She chooses to stay. She's a senior though. Hopefully she chooses to stay. I don't see a reason why. Well, I mean, I know why, but there's no risk. Stay, you graduate, come back, play football, win another swag championship, get your master's. You know, like, that's my recruiting pitch to you, Tilly. I mean, you already what? First team all swag? First team all swag. I don't know how many rings, I don't know how many years she's been here with Coach Reed, but you have if you've been here for all five, you got five rings. Why not win six? Get the Masters. Make first team all swag again. And yeah. Then you have, so then you leave here with six rings, two degrees, and a mat. Six rings, two degrees. How many all first team all how, however many first team all swags or all swags she's been a part of, and then you go and you throw on a um you throw on a um the chance to, to the WNBA if that's what you want to do overseas WNBA you know professional ball if that's what you want to do I feel as if that's the best you can. I don't see how you you know. Don't do that. But okay, so Tilly has another year. So Crump is gone. Angel's gone. Is Kishana gone? So you got Crump, Tilly. Well, Crump, Kishana, Angel. Crump, Kishana, Angel. I don't know. But just recruit. You know, if Angel, well, I'm pretty sure Angel's gone. We need to be. Say that, Mr. Brandon, how you doing? We need to be. Need to be, I mean, Miss Angel, I mean, six blocks. You have this brown jersey. What? You have this in white? Nah, white is crazy. White is probably cleaner than this. I actually found this at a thrift shop. I found this in a pair of shoes at a thrift shop. Somebody didn't realize the value in this, and I got this for like under $20, if I'm not mistaken. So, but a white St. Vincent, St. Mary's jersey? A white jersey is probably, a white jersey is clean. I'm already knowing. Ooh, I wish I'd have the white one. Yeah. And then with our boys, I mean, not with our boys, but Graham, man. Shout out to Graham. That game they played, well, the quote unquote, the playing game that they played, that was a great ball game. That was a great game, especially being down 14, coming all the way back, going into OT, and then winning by what? They won by seven or eight. I mean, man, and then shout out to the young man. Oh, I think can't think, can't think his name. Number one, after the first game, he went and he got an NIL deal with Wingstop. You balling, yeah, bro. And it's authentic too. I'm holding it on to it, bro. You know, me personally, holding on to it. You know me, but I understand, and as you should though. That's a white jersey, a white St. Vincent, St. Mary jersey. I'm just knowing this, like, a white jersey is valid. But, yeah, man, Graham the State. And then we go to Purdue, and we we follow Purdue, man, but I don't care how many 6'7", six, 6'8", six, even the 6'9", you have. You can't be 7'4". Guards? Our guards were either better or up to skill with Purdue. 
the bigs is where you lose it at. And see, that's the thing around in any sport on a collegiate level. When you go from Power 5 to FCS, for example, Power 5 football, FCS football, or lower FBS, your skill positions for the most part are pretty wooden wood. I mean, you have some guys who stand out who are, you know, just superior to the rest. But the average player, the average football player at Georgia, and let's just say the average football player at, oh, well, Jackson State, they're probably wooden wooden skill set, the average player. Well, like the average player, yeah, they're probably wooden wooden skill set. But when you get the big disparity and the big difference, is with the old lineman. That's – that's what changes football. Like when you get, when you go from an O line and that's what the O line and D line. So when you go from O line, that's let's say, let's say across the board at an FCS or lower FBS, let's say FCS, your average, your O line is probably around, everyone's probably around 6'3, 6'4, you know, 300 plus. You go pile five. That was when you get them six. Five, six, seven, six, six, and granted, you catch some of them at FCS. We got, uh, we got us a hidden gem, but you catch some of them at FCS. But normally, you know, that's not normal. So, like, that's what, that's actually what may loot, what not may. That's what changes football games, and that's even in high school. Like, if you go against a high school at seven on seven, if you seven on seven against a high school, you know, one school may have old linemen where. You know, they're not really big, you know. So, yeah. So, then we go to basketball. For the most part, the guards are the same. Like I said, granted, you might have some guards, those superior guards, who may just be that guy, right? But the average player is no different than the average player here. And then the only difference may be you may have size. You may have other things that you may have better, that you were probably better at someone else than naturally, genetically, but when you get to them bigs, like I said, ain't too many seven-footers walking around Jackson State campus. Seven, not even seven-footers, seven-four. I mean, you're seven foot, then you have one, two, three, four inches. Like, even if we had a seven-footer, six, eleven, seven-foot, seven-four is still four inches. You throw a tennis shoe, you're seven-five. So you got five, six inches over something. That's where the that's where the difference happens at when it gets to those players. Not the average regular Joe, not the point guard. Like I said, granted, <clears throat> you're gonna have those players who are just superior in other positions, like you know, just a better player. But overall, it's not that big of a difference. Not at all. Not even in the slightest bit. But nah, they um they are um man, they played a good game. <clears throat> and I feel as if man, we played a good game. And if you watch the game, we was rebounding. Like we I'm saying we, but you know, swag HBCU is we in that moment. They play so good to where they basically gave other schools <clears throat> the way to play Purdue. Like, look, in other schools that Purdue play, you know, you're going to have a seven-footer. You're going to have someone that can match up physically, you know, weight-wise and height-wise with Eden, Eddie, Eden. So it's going to be different. But outside of Eddie, you had nobody else on that team. It was Zach Eddie's show. I think if I'm not mistaken, he had like 30 points. And he couldn't make his free throws. So it was like, I don't know. I do I don't. That was we just was there. We was there. So shout out to Graham. Um, shout out to Graham. Shout out to the Lady Tigers. There was a lot of good basketball being played. And then okay, so speaking of basketball, this topic came up to me. It was actually before the game, but it was about Coach Calipari, Calipari, in Kentucky. <clears throat> As you know, Kentucky hasn't won a national championship since, if I'm not mistaken, Anthony Davis. Since he had Anthony Davis and them boys on one team. 
It's like, man, he comes out here first round upset to Oakland. Would you do not? A lot of people say he was going to get fired. I said, no, you can't fire Calipari. You can't fire him simply because of the players that he brings in consistently. He consistently brings in first round draft picks, not second round. He brings in first round draft picks, whether you got whether they're bigs or whether they're guards. And quite frankly, he always brings in guards. I mean, you have John Wall, Devin Booker, Derrick Rose at Memphis, John Wall, Devin Booker at Kentucky, with Rondo, AD, Tyler Eulis, the Jones brothers went to Duke. Who else you got from Kentucky? You got so many players. Even you go back to the 90s for my people in, from that grew up in that area or the, or the early 2000s. You have so many players. And like I said, specifically guards that Kyle Parr is going to continue to bring in. If he goes to any other school in the country, he's still going to bring in those guards. But the fact that he brings – he consists – like Rob Dillingham. Rob Dillingham is your bench player. He's your six man. He's your six man, but he's probably the best player on your team. But he's a guard. And Calipari, Calipari can always, and he always will recruit guards because his offense is guard heavy. I mean, if he has a good guard, I mean, if he has a good big, cool, but he needs somebody who can pat that rock. And not pat it, when I, when I say pat it, I mean play with it, mess around with it. But I mean, get the ball and make a move, make a pass, and make a buck. That's what he needs. And that's what he's always consistently. Hey, how you doing, Miss Tay? He consistently. Recruits those kind of guards. Well, he gets those kind of guards. I didn't recruit. He gets them. So yeah, Kyle Pryor is going nowhere, and especially with the um, the Marcus Cousins, Patrick Patterson, Michael K. Gilchrist, Chris, all of those are first round draft picks. All of those are first round. I'm all of those are first round draft picks, and then the people I named. So you have the Marcus Cousins, Patrick Patterson, Michael K. Gilchrist, Chris, Anthony Davis, John Wall, Rajon Rondo, Derrick Rose. Like I said, Derrick Rose was at um, Memphis, so. But just players. Um, and like I said, there's more. If I'm not mistaken, did um Telfair go there? Sebastian Telfair? Probably I'm not. Anyway, that's besides the point. But he's not going nowhere. And then especially with the NIL deal of it, Brandon Knight. That's another good one. Brandon Knight. With the NIL thing going on, bro, he's not going nowhere. And that's, you know, and those are reasons why Coach K and Coach – Coach at UNC left, but I mean, Kyler Park not going nowhere. Kyler Park could lose in the first round for the next two years. I guess. Then he, granted, he signed a lifetime contract with Kentucky, right? Let's see. Lifetime contract. I think he, I think he did get a lifetime contract with Kentucky. Can oh, oh. okay. Now what I was necessarily looking for. But good googly moogly. Okay. Kyler Perry is a is paid a base salary of four hundred thousand, payable in equally equal monthly installments, good for thirty three thousand three hundred thirty three dollars and thirty three cents through media. And endorsements. Though he is paid a semi, he is paid in semi annual installments on July thirty first and January thirty first of each contract year, worth eight point one million dollars from twenty twenty two to twenty twenty five, and eight point six from twenty twenty five to twenty twenty nine. Pushes his total annual salary to eight point five million through twenty twenty five, then nine million. Through 
who you mean tell me Kentucky gonna buy him out? Kentucky not buying him out. Even if they could, they're not buying him out. First of all, imagine making eight million dollars a year. That's what I'm saying. You make eight million a year, but monthly you get thirty three thousand dollars. So like I said, it pushes his total up to you know set amounts. The thirty three thousand dollars a month. The eight million dollars a year is crazy. I don't know what I. One day, but not right now. But anyway, that's crazy. So like I said, who's buying? Kentucky's not finna buy him out. I mean, you might as well get. Like I said, if he goes for the Knicks, what is it? Twenty twenty nine. Did they say twenty twenty nine? Oh. Yeah, he said 2029. So we are in 2024. If he loses in the first round for the next five years, you let him lose. lose. Hey, Mr. Thetis, I ain't even see you say good evening. If he loses in the first round for the next five years, you let him lose in the first round before you buy him out. That is an insane. I guarantee you, he's probably the highest paid, um, the highest paid college basketball coach. It would only make sense if he is. But, yeah, Coach Cal not going nowhere. And you see, there's always a full circle moment. That goes back to us, Tamika Reed, Coach Tamika Reed. Let's see. Let's see. Now, I'm not necessarily sure with her country, Tamika And – before we get to a contract, if we could get that. Um, shout out to Coach Gino, uh, uh, Coach Gino from UConn, who shouted out Coach Reed and basically said she's a great coach, which we all know that, you know. She's a great coach. She wins her conference, blah, blah, blah. I don't like the part of the end. I don't know if y'all seen it. And he was like, um, other schools, power five schools need to look into hiring coaches outside of it needs to look into hiring new coaches. You know, instead of using recycle coaches that's being here, there, there, I think outside the box, you know the coaches. Look, they can do that as long as they want. Let me tell you why. Because Coach Reed, Coach Reed is there. Coach Reed is exactly what she needs to be. Now, nah, granted, you know, look, you go to other schools, you get certain advantages, you get certain perks and gimmicks, you know. Coach Reed is where she needs to be, you know. And the thing about basketball, it isn't like football. Like it's a – basketball and football are two totally different sports. So when I say that, I mean – in football, to compete – like, I, and that goes back to my point, to compete with those bigger schools. It starts in the trench play and then everywhere else. You know, it's hard to get them big. Like I said, six, 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 seven, six, eight, six, nine. Like it's hard to get them, you know. And then, like I said, in nowadays, when you got the NIL and you getting, you got some people making six figures, six figures a year, which is granted. I love it. But, you know, it's just, it's just hard. So, basketball, you don't need that. I mean, you just need players who can play. And you see it every year in the NCAA tournament when that one school just goes on a crazy run. So, with basketball, listen, women's basketball, like I said, once again, there's not that big of a difference from the best player. Like, the best player, who's the, the best? Paige Beckers, and then we got Mike Crump. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, it's not just like Paige is just like years ahead. Well, Mike was at the University of Houston, which isn't a power. Well, the University of Houston is a power five, but back then it wasn't. But come on, Angel was at uh, South Cal South Cal Southern California. <clears throat> Man, why am I judging? So that's what I'm saying. Like, we just basketball is different, and Coach Reed, I get. It. 
keep him in five years, five swing. If she stay here, which come on, Coach V, holla at me. You know, look. Matter of fact, if you need to, whenever you do your negotiation contracts, you know, you come holla at me. You know, let me and you have a conversation. You know, you got my got my number, Twitter, Instagram. Let, let us have a conversation. So we can um, you know, we can straighten out the contract details and all of this, that, and the third. And we could get you what you need, you know. But anyway, we get that out of the way. I guarantee you, Coach Reed can Coach Reed can assemble her team. She has a great staff. Shout out to the staff. But she has a good team, a great team now. But she could get her a team that could win you about two, three games in the tournament. If not, win the whole thing. And that's just real, you know, simple. We need Coach Reed to stay. And like I said, as much as we love and appreciate Coach Gino for the shout out, because that means a lot coming from him because he's a legendary uh, coach at UConn. He, he's a real legendary coach at UConn. And he's been dominating at UConn for a minute. Coach Reed is going to go well. And y'all can, keep, y'all can keep recycling who y'all want to recycle. But, you know, if you keep doing that, it, eventually it's going to run out. And before you know, we're going to have these schools, these coaches, and we're going to have them players. Because we're not going to be like this forever. That's all I got to say. But, now nah, that was just sad. And, like I said, shout out to Coach Gino for the shout out. But, nah. And also shout out to Coach Stanley. Staley. Stay, don't, Coach Don, South Carolina. She always shout out Coach Reed. And she has, if not the best team, the team that I think going to win the tournament, um, South Carolina. And she always had the coach reading. And she's always so humble towards her team and with her team, with her young, her group of young ladies. And you can genuinely tell, just like Coach Reed, that those young ladies, young women, love to play for Coach Stanley, love to play with Coach Reed. You know, it's like it's just different in the building. It is. And at the end of the day, we just love to see it at the end of the day. I mean, it's not too much you can be mad at. But okay, so Coach Reed details. Um, four year. Dang, it's been four years already. Four year extension, July 15th, 2020. That pays her approximately 135. Damn. Which approximately pays her $135,000 a year. And it's set to expire Thursday. I mean, on Sunday. Reed should try. This was nine hours ago. So her contract ends Saturday? I mean, Sunday? Okay, 495 Spirit of Car. Well, Sunday, Coach Reed, hit my line. Yeah, this Sunday. Hit my line, Coach Reed, Sunday. Matter of fact, I'm going to hit your line on Sunday, 12 o'clock Sunday. Um, so that yeah, seven o'clock Sunday morning, we have to have us a conversation. You know, we need to get this out the way. You know, when we could throw the bank, you know, we could throw, we could throw stamps, we could throw the bank downtown, throw it all it, throw the whole sink at you, cause we don't need to go nowhere. You know. But dang, how did that? Twenty twenty, I was still in high school in twenty twenty. When when I. Contract got extended July 15th, 2020. Yeah, I was still in high school. Dang, four years went by fast. I don't even know what to say about that. That I was not expecting that to be that soon. I, I mean, I, I got to talk to Coach Reed ASAP, Jim. I got to hurry up. You had just graduated. Yeah, me and Coach, I got to hurry up and holler at Coach Reed. Yeah, me and Coach Reed have other conversations because we shouldn't. We shouldn't just um. That just messed me up, yeah. I'm still reading these contract details and pretty good contract. You know, I'm not. Yeah, this contract just messed me up. But anyway, 
I didn't talk about this this much last week, but them Steelers, look here. Y'all better be prepared to be sick of me come football season. When we make to the Super Bowl with Russell Wilson, when we run that double quarterback package, when Russell Wilson catch it, throw it to Fields, and Fields throw it down the field for 150, for 100 yards, or, you know, 70 yards, don't tell me nothing. Don't tell me nothing. Because, baby, I'm ready. We coming. I'm I'm sorry for these Steelers. I don't think I understand. We have a nice backfield with Harris and Warren. We got Pickett as number one. We got Watt, Fitzpatrick, Elliott, Patrick Queen, Deontay. Oh, yeah, baby. We, I'm sorry for the Steelers to play. And if you're not a Steelers fan, do not, I repeat, do not hop on this bandwagon come football season. Because one thing, Coach Tomlin doesn't have losing seasons. That's one. And two, we have us a quarterback, you know. And T.J. Watt was asked about this. And they asked him about the quarterback situation. And he was like, I'm just happy to have one. No no slight to Mr. Pickett, but, you know. I, I seen a stat to where Russell Wilson and Justin Fields played against each other. And they threw more touchdowns combined in one game than Mr. Pickett threw the entire season. <laughs> y'all tell me about that. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about that. Our two quarterbacks that we got now. We just signed Patterson. Patterson, who? Who is Patterson? Let me go look. Now, hold on now. Hold on now. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me we got somebody else to the squad. Let me go look. Oh, I mean, oh, I missed, oh, I missed it up. Oh, I missed it up. That means there's no defense being played, little bro. Not even that. They only threw three touchdowns a piece. I mean, that is a lot. It is a lot. Um, the touchdowns, but that's my point. Mister Piggy didn't throw that in the whole season. Will we have seventeen games now? Seventeen games you couldn't. What six touchdowns or was it seven? Crazy. Crazy. Insane. If I may add. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just ready, man. Oh, hip drop tackle. The hip drop tackle is banned from the NFL. Now, me being an offensive player, I love it. Me being a football consumer. A football, you know, consumer, a fan of football. I don't know how to feel about it because when you look at it, if I'm not mistaken, I seen another stat and it was like a 90% of the time when the offensive player is being tackled that way, they're injured. They come, they get up with an injury. Mark Andrews had it. Key and Drake. King and Drake actually came out. He came out and made a, or made a tweet about it. Cordell Patterson? We signed Cordell Patterson? Are you sure? Let me look at that up. Give me a minute. I don't care about the popular opinion. I lost my right ankle in a quarter of the 21 season to this type of tackle. Something had to give, and I'm glad it's not just anybody's legs slash ankles anymore. That's what Mr. Drake, King Drake said about it. Now, as a football fan, like I said, I don't know how to feel about it because we all know as football athletes, you know, college, high school, college, professionally, we all know that football is a very dangerous game, whether it's the hip drop tackle, whether it's a regular tackle, whether it's this kind of hit. Football is a dangerous game. I mean, we just seen Aaron Rodgers tear his Achilles, and he wouldn't even touch. He legit dropped back and boom. 
So that's one. But just think of all the other examples that we've seen of people, you know, seriously getting hit and getting injured. I mean, we have Shazier. Um, you have a lot of other players. You have Ryan, but Ryan Shazier is one of the most infamous people. Um, you have Michael Finley. I don't know if y'all remember him, Green Bay Packers. He took a dirty, dirty hit. Not Michael Finley. Um, oh, it's not Michael Finley. I can't think of his name. But he got hit pretty bad. Um, Antonio Brown, Von Tisbert. Like, you have a lot of guys that get hit, and you have serious life-threatening, life-causing injuries. So the hip drop tackle, we've seen it. A lot of people has been tackled. Well, a lot of people who – mostly everybody who's been tackled in their way with the hip drop have come up with a few injuries. And I understand you want to protect the game and protect the athletes, but you're also putting defensive players at a disadvantage because if I'm running, if I'm running forward <clears throat> and you're running behind me, you only have two options to tackle. You either dive <clears throat> – or you hip drop. And in a sense, I mean, it's not like it's not like the hip drop is a dirty play because it's just how else am I going to get this grown man running? How else am I going to stop him from going forward? Just naturally, that's what you're going to do. What up, Prince? Naturally. It's, it's, it's nothing to it. It's natural. They claim it causes 20% more injuries. And see, and statistically, that is that is a that is a good fact, but it's a bad stat because why would you want something that causes you know such hit to the game? Because especially when you look at it and you see, let's say that happens to the Kansas City Chiefs. Let's say the Super Bowl, Patrick Mahomes scrambles out, boom, 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 hip drop tackle, breaks his ankle, something, whatever something happens. Come on now. Now, granted, it hasn't happened to a quarterback. How do they tackle? How do you? And you can't go high. You know, as an offensive player, like I said, I love the rule. But as a fan of football, it's not it's, it's not necessarily fair. It's not fair at all because, like I said, you're putting those guys at a disadvantage because now, you know, <clears throat> it's, just, it's just a very disadvantage because – you can just imagine so many different scenarios as to where that can change the game, you know? And it's just like, what else do you want them to do? So, yeah, I don't know how to feel about it. Like I said, as an offensive player, I love it. You know, tack, do the hip drop. Let's hope I don't get injured. Give me the 15 yards or give my team the 15 yards and whatever else. Like I said, as a fan, I mean, you would hate to see your team lose a game off of a play like that, off of a, you know, like I said, a naturally innocent play because see ball, get ball, you know, and if I'm behind you, I'm going to do what I got to do. And every time, everybody can't dive, and diving don't work every time. I mean, so to grab someone and, you know, forcefully pull them down as – As dangerous as it is, it's real. It's real innocent. Innocent, innocence. And it's ugh, slippery slope. Also, the NFL has changed the kickoff rules. So no more. Um, oh! We did sign Cordell Patterson. Can I see? Shout out to my guy for tagging me in this. Don't really know how to feel about that one. Because what is he going to play? Is he going to play running back, 
wide out, gadget guy, you know, like what is he what is he gonna do? Mm. I'm interested in that signing. Special teams. But I feel like we had Calvin Austin as a returner. I feel like he was pretty good as a returner. Van Jefferson, no. I like Calvin Austin as a returner, but you always have two. But two years, six mil, so that's three mil a year, tax and everything, you know. No. I'm going to have to look into that one. But back to it. NFL wants more offense anyway. Hey, offense win championships. I've never seen a game one zero zero. Got to at least get three in special teams. It's part of offense. Field goal. Getting the kicker into the right position, length, distance. It's all offense. So, but um, like I said, the NFL is changing the kickoff rules to the XFL format. I don't know how to feel about that. Like it's. Haley, Haley, hello everyone. Just type about to give a thumbs up. Good night, Todd. Thank you. Make sure you like it. The stream, please. Thank you so much. Mwah. But um let's read up on the rules. But they said, um, let's see. Kick. New NFL kickoff proposal, kicking team. <clears throat> the 10 players cannot move until the ball hits the ground or the player in the landing zone or in the end zone. Receiving team, all players in the setup zone cannot move until the kick has hit the ground or player in the landing zone. Any kick that hits the landing zone, goal line, 20-yard line, must be returned. Any kick hit before the landing zone, touch back to the 40 as if it went out of bounds. Kick hits the landing zone, roll to the end zone, and it's down. Touch back to 20. Kick lands in the end zone or goes out the back. Touch back to 35. Onside kick, fourth quarter, fourth quarter begins. The team trailing has the opportunity to declare an onside kick to the officials. Current onside kickoff rules will would apply. No fair catch or signal is allowed. This proposal is for one year only. Now, the XFL was a brilliant idea, beautiful league. I loved watching the XFL. I loved it. It was it was fun because they had all kind of little rules and. They had all kind of things that was – it is experimental. But the XFL was very fun. And there's a lot of things that the NFL should potentially take from the XFL, but I don't think this is one of them. And my question is, do high school and college follow this as well? You know, that's my question because, you know, you're used to one thing. Like, we're used to kickoffs on the 50, 40, kick it off. I mean, you time up with a kicker, boom, go down, block, boom, boom. So that's my question. Do colleges and high school have to follow this? Even though it's only for a year. So let's say that this is only a year thing. But – Going forward, do we have to follow this? Because this is real. It changes. It changes the game because I feel as if that. I feel as if you make it easier because you got some great returners. Like, could you imagine if you gave Devin Hester this opportunity? Everybody's right there in his face. So like now he has time to make a move quicker. I don't know. I don't know, man. But for a year, so it's experimental. 
And I mean, one of the biggest complaints about the NFL was the um was the um that kickoffs weren't being returned. You have great kickers, but kickoffs weren't being returned. So this makes it at least a way to where you get kickoffs returned more. Like I don't like and subscribe like Prince said. I don't I don't it's like I understand, I see where we're going with it, where the NFL is going with it. But necessarily, I'm kind of confused because it's only a year thing. It it changes so much, you know, coaching, players, it, it changes a lot. Because usually, you'll be able to scheme on kickoff. Like, you'll be able to say, hey, you go here. You know, you line up here, but you go here. I don't know. It's just real interesting. I'm excited. Is excited would be an understatement. We're Prince here. Like and subscribe, please. Uh, get off in about a couple minutes. You know. No one being here too long. Um, oh, I need to delete. Hold on, I need to go delete this because uh, the other live. I didn't know that now people logged into it. I gotta get that out of there. Mm, 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 okay, good and delete it. All right, so like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, look, we need a thousand subscribers because although, thank you all so much, we have been, well, we are a monetized YouTube channel now, which means we can make money. Um, shout out to you all. So we had 823 subscribers. You need a thousand subscribers. And you need 4,000 public watch hours for me to be able to use ads and all that, just that and the third. So let's like and subscribe, baby. And let's watch the lives, you know. I know the, the lives necessarily, they do go up. And if you can, which is like I understand, look, everybody can't do it. And you can support by just liking, commenting, and subscribing. And following me on all socials at my name. Y'all yeah, know my name. Um, Jen Shirada Jr. But, um, oh, man, Mr. Oh, man, Mr. Warner. I'm, a membership. Um, we have memberships. Let me dive into the specifics of them. Memberships, memberships, memberships. All right, bronze member. You get loyalty badges, which you see covered in the chat. Jay has one. Um, member only live chats. Three ninety nine, four dollars. Gold member, early access to new videos. Member shout outs, photo and status updates. Exclusive member only videos. And member only live streams. Then you have the life of Riley. I mean, the platinum connecting on social media. Virtual video collaborations, this kind of merchandise. You ain't really got to do that, one, you know. Jen says, talk about some JSU football. What you want to know then? Holler at me. You know, I'm, I'm here for that. You know, I'm here for that, man. We could talk about that all day. What you want to know, Miss Bonnie? What you want to know? That's the real question. What you. What can I expect to see on four six twenty four? A 
show. A show, but I mean, you, you should expect to see some good football. Offensively, defensively, special teams. For uh, Some good football. I mean, we have a lot of guys offensively and defensively that make plays. I went to every game last season. Are you going to be as exciting as the team? I think so. Then you have the coaches, because ultimately, you know, the coaches, the coaches coach, the players play. So the coaches, so far, you know, I know we're going to do it. But as of right now, you know, we're installing things, going over things, you know, letting things come out. So the coaches, you know, they put us in position. So, yeah, I think we're going to be very exciting. On the field, you know, that's really all that matters on the field. Off the field, I mean, you know, always. But on the field, of course. I think so. I actually do think so. That's all that matters. Amen. That is all that matters, Miss Bonnet. But yeah, I, that's what I think. I think that we are going to be a great team for six twenty four. And then an even better team for, well, not four, but an even better team come the fall. That's what I was about to say. I was going to say four. I was going to say someday, and that would, that wouldn't going to make no sense. Well, my boy Jay, bro, you know, trivia. No trivia tonight. Kill some time. Do you think your do you think our talent will be used? I think it will be used in ways you've never seen it used before. Mm, that's a good one, Jensen. That's what I think. I think our talent is going to be used offensively and defensively. Got a lot of good playmakers. And you know, we, just, we, the players, have to make the plays. But I feel as if the coaches are putting us and are going to put us in position to make said plays. We just have to make them. Who are you texting? Prince, who are you? Who think you is Prince? Hold on now, Prince. I might even text nobody. I was actually reading something. I just thought about I just thought about what I just what you just said. You want out today, Jay? I understand. I can't even laugh. Me too. Twenty twenty four in a uh, national championship game. I need to go watch that. If it's not over with, it just pop on my phone. But any more questions, y'all? Like I said, I'm gonna end this thing in about a couple minutes, man. It's it's been. I'm just waiting on this camera, y'all, and I'm finna make some phone calls. 
best buy gonna hit me tomorrow. Prince said he said, I told Prince I was reading something. I wouldn't text nobody or reading a text message. Reading email is Prince. When you get old, you gotta start checking your email. Cause oof. JSU football is my favorite sport. Come on, just feed me some more. What you want to know, Miss Bunny? I answer the questions. Um, I can say that. Well, I mean, that's media. Football is going to be really fun. A lot of players, including myself, have been having a lot of fun. You know, even although football is very strict and strenuous and boom, bam. You have to have fun. You have to remember to have fun. So I can say I feel as if with this staff, OCDC position coaches, we're having fun. We're enjoying playing football and not just playing football, if that makes sense. I am excited for the spring game to equate. But, yeah, we're, we're enjoying playing football. And when you enjoy playing football, that's when you have – or enjoy doing anything – that's when you're the best at doing whatever it is. And in this case, I'm talking about football. So I can tell you that I can tell you that everyone on the team is enjoying to enjoying playing football because of said coaches. Like I said, OCDC special teams, and then you have your position coaches. It's becoming fun. And once again, when you're having fun, you play better. And that's what you do with everything. If you're having fun at work, you kind of work better. You're having fun. Sleeping, you sleep a little better. You having fun doing this? You you just do it a little better. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I feel about it. Not nah, Miss Bunny. What you think about that one? Oh. Best Buy more. I'll put that on my reminder. Call Best Buy. <laughs> I was the lab with that Prince. We got to get a weekend. We need to get Prince on up here. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, what I miss, buddy. No, I can't say too much was going on, you know, behind closed doors. I be having to keep it 50 50, you know, not even 50 50, 75 25. Nah, not Mr. Clean going his hair back. <laughs> Prince, when I see you, we gonna fight. We gonna box when I see you, Prince. Me, and you gonna box. Ain't you supposed to be getting ready to go to sleep? It is nine thirty. You, you have school tomorrow. To Wednesday. Look at you. Okay. No violence. You two may take down the stream. Prince, I'm going to give you a big hug when I see you. A nice hug that a big brother always would give his little brother. I'm by my mom. Okay. I'm give you a nice hug. A tight hug. You don't understand a real tight hug. Yeah. You don't understand how we were feeling January 2023. Talking about excitement wise. Yeah, that's when coach. Yeah. I do miss I miss Bunny. How do you think I feel? I was excited. I was excited like November 2022. You know. Not for no bad reasons, but just to see where and you know, how everything was going to fall going forward. Oh, no, y'all wasn't excited? 
Lord, well, I was. Cordell Patterson, I'm still thinking about this. A real tight hook. You are a true blue Jew. Jacktown Jew. I told them they might need to, um, when they put on my hometown, say, Greensboro, Louisiana, slash Jackson, Mississippi. Language. What you talking about, Prince? Oh. Prince, go to sleep. That what you do. You talk about language. It's time for you to go to sleep. Yeah, he's talking about Miss Bunny. That's what I just realized. I thought he was talking to me at first. I was going to say, what I do? But he's talking about Miss Bunny. But Miss Bunny is okay, Prince. Like I said, Prince, you go to sleep. We're going to start doing Life of Riley at the dark for people like Princeton. Because why is you still up? Why are you still up? It is too late. Prince, please. I'm old enough to be your mama. <laughs> Uh oh, Prince, you better stop before you get in trouble. And I'm going to tell you, give you a whoop. Nah. He, hell is in the Bible. Hell is in the Bible. It is. Yeah, right. <laughs> Prince, Miss Bunny, Miss Bunny, don't have to be my mama, Prince. She don't have to be my mama. She most dead to be your mama. I'm 21. Prince, you're eight. I'm not a mathematician, but that's a lot to a little. But anyway, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe every Tuesday and Saturday. Oh, speaking of like, comment, and subscribe, somebody at this age will see what we want. <laughs> somebody subscribed again. I'm oh, shout out to Jamaica. Hey, thank you, Jamaica. My birthday twin there. Shout out to Jamaica for subscribing. 824. Um, eight as in E I G H T. Yes, Princeton is eight as in E I G H T. Yeah. If I say Prince, how old are you, Prince? Nine. Eight, nine. Eight, nine, nine, eight, eight, nine, nine, eight. Uh, uh. Jay don't play with my mama. Uh oh, Jay, Crimson Creations on you too. You talking about Jay, me or Jay, Jay? Like Jay, or what the thing is this way? Jay. Cause see, like this is what I'm talking about. So I'm pointing. I'm pointing this way. I'm pointing to my left right now. But the y'all get what I'm trying to say. Hold on, what I do? I thought he was a teen the way he be hanging around in this stream. No, Prince is ain't Prince not even 10. That's why Prince to be sleep. JTV. Oh, Jay, what you do? Great grandmother. Great great grandmother. Hold on, Miss Bunny. I don't think that old now. Like I said, you could be my mama. Oh, you, you know, I don't know. Maybe that's what you're trying to say. All I know is, Miss Bunny, you always go with me. Princeton. Where about Princeton? I thought that was a few situations. I thought you was too, Jay. I, Jay, I thought we was here. Obviously, 
all of us not here. Some of us are there. Maybe I came at the wrong time. I'm going to say I, I think you did simply because, yeah, Jay was, Jay was, he was, yeah, he's a baby. My grandson is not. See, Prince, Miss Bunny could be your grandmother. I thought it was eight. I, I still thought it was eight years old. Hmm. You hear that, Prince? Miss Bunny's, Miss Bunny's grandson. That's why it's important to get the context, man. <laughs> but yeah, it comes to creations. I, I, I'm with you. I think you came in at the wrong time. Yeah, we are just having fun. Let's not get this is all love. But yeah. You came in a little too early. I mean, a little too late. I'm there wanting to be his mama. Yeah. That's why I said nine thirty. I don't understand how Princeton, 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 Princeton. Now you got the whole chat, the whole chat on your head now, Prince, because you wanna. Be Princeton. You didn't mess me up today with this one. <laughs> Y'all are funny. I heard Miss Bunny as soon as I logged in and say JTV and saw JTV coming. We don't think you said saw when I say. <clears throat> it's 10.30 here. Even my big grown teen has been knocked out for like 10 hours. I mean, for like two hours. That's crazy. That means you went to sleep at 8.30? Whew. I wish I could go to sleep at 8.30. Are you a Lakers fan or LeBron's fan? I am not. I just love good looking clothes. And I seen this jersey and it was less than $20 at a thrift shop. So whoever gave this up saw no worth. And whoever the thrift shop people prices, um, the people who made the prices, obviously saw no worth in it. So I got it. But no. I mean, I guess you say I'm a LeBron fan. I'm not a LeBron hater, if that makes sense. What do you mean, Jay? She's be saying that school trains her. But see, that's bad because she's going to wake up at like 11, 11.30. And she's going to be up all night. She say, Unk, Doc Holiday, how we doing? The OG in the building. You came off. I'm supposed to be getting off in a minute, Doc. I was supposed to get off a couple minutes ago. But we um we chatting. That's awesome that you have learned to thrift. Yes, thrifting is actually very I like thrifting. Thrifting in the right the right cities, thrifting easily turns to shopping. You know what I'm saying? Do you have it on backwards? I do. I do have it on backwards. I don't know if you can see. Irish. But yes, I do have it on backwards. Don't mind me, Prince. I'm just rambling here, Prince. Prince, go to sleep. That's on her. She won't have enough time to do her hair and makeup if she doesn't wake up in time. Oh, well, she Child. Child, child, child. Because <laughs> I remember I used to go to sleep, and my mama, well, sometimes she'd be asleep too. But I remember one time, I think I had went to sleep. I think I went to sleep at like seven o'clock. And I remember the day it was raining. Like it was one of them days it was raining. You know, when it rained outside, you just sleep a little different. It was raining. I had to eat. My mom would probably cooked. She cooked something that night. It was good. I ate. Had no homework. I think it was like a Thursday, too. 
So, you know, Thursday always is my favorite day of the week. Thursday is my favorite day of the week because after Thursday, you got Friday. You know what I'm saying? And I think I went to sleep and I woke up and it had to be like 12 o'clock. And I woke up scared, thinking I missed the bus, thinking the bus had came. Come on, I woke up, I didn't look at my phone. I just woke up and seen it was dark outside. And usually when you wake up and it's dark outside, well, around that time, it's cool. But I was getting ready. I think my mom heard me. She said, Jesse, what you doing? I'm getting ready for school. She's like, it's 12 o'clock. Oof. Happy, elated, excited. I went back to sleep for so long. I said to say this. Hopefully that baby don't wake up too really thinking that it's time to go to school. Hopefully she wake up and, you know, go back to sleep. But I woke up getting ready to go to school. Now I went back and went right back to sleep, though. Now I didn't stay up. But still. Whew. I keep having this chair keep turning. I don't even realize it. Nah, not until the live stream is. All of a you going to sleep. You said that baby like you're older than she is. <laughs> I did. I did say that. I'm just older. You know, when you say teen, I'm like, dang, I was a teenager, what? A very long time ago. You're not necessarily grown, but I just don't have to say teen at the end of my age. You know what I'm saying? Man, hopefully, she don't wake up thinking it's time to go to school. Hopefully, she wake up and be like, look, I got X amount of time to go back to sleep. And doing hair and makeup, whew, child. So I'm happy. The good Lord's gonna make me a boy. Wake up, throw some cold water, even even if I just shot. Wake up, brush my teeth, put some deodorant on, put on my clothes, walk out the door. <laughs> brush my hair on the bus. I walk to the bus stop. Three years ago. I know Prince. <laughs> she is her mom's daughter. Can't even argue against that one. I hate school. Well, you have a long, you have a lot of school left. So get used to it. You have middle school, high school, college. Oh, Princeton. Dang, that's a long time. That's a lot of school. If I become the president, I will cancel school. You know, Prince, I like that. But what are you going to um, substitute school with? Because the young people have to learn something. Because then you'll be an elder. So if somebody got to learn something. That's why I said middle school, Jay. We call it middle school. Mid elementary, middle school, high school. That's how the school system works. The one at school, the one that Prince go to, which is my school. Nah, babe, we don't need school. We don't need school to be canceled. These people are way too. What a thing it. Do this. My district has middle, then junior high, then high school. Child. The internet, you can learn on the internet, Prince, but you can't learn everything from the internet. I mean, you really can. I can't sit there and say that you can't. 
I can't sit up and say that you can't learn everything from the internet, but you know, they look up what they don't know. Don't believe everything on the internet either, Prince. That's a great point, Jay. They look up what they don't know, but how did how would they know that they don't know it if they don't know it? Humper, give me answer to that. Dotish, which means that must be um, that must be um. Oh, I can't think of the language. Ah, I can't even get the word. <laughs> yeah, Prince, I'm not a Prince. I don't think it's a bad idea, but it ain't the best idea. If you're going to say that, you have to have a backup. But okay, hitting that town. The Lakers beat the Bucks in double overtime. Je Jesus made the internet, and he knows everything. Okay, Prince, that's real low. That's real low down. Bringing up Jesus in this, that's cheating. You're cheating. It's not fair. It's not fair at all. Who beat who again? What do you mean, Jay? Or their parents can teach them. Parents can go to sleep. We are at 827 subscribers now. So thank you. And it'll show me the two people who subscribed. It doesn't show me that. It doesn't show me that. You said someone beat someone in OT. Oh, the Lakers beat the Bucks. The Lakers beat the Bucks in double overtime. Austin Reeves clutch three, 29 points, 13 rebounds, and 10 assists for Austin Reeves. Yeah, the Lakers and the Bucks. Oh no, I was saying the Langston um the Langston um the NAIA championship. They was playing it popped up on my ESPN, but now it's gone. But they was playing somebody for the NAIA championship. We're gonna talk about that game, move on. Oh, you must be a Bucks fan. Well, if you were a Pelicans fan, although the Pelicans lost. I don't know if it lost too. But I just hit it like five times. Okay. This time it's for real. Like, comment, subscribe. My friend disrespected the Lakers until I threatened him. Like, comment, subscribe, please. Um, our social media is at Jen Sherrata Jr., TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I've actually had some people reach, reach out to me on Facebook. Facebook, um, Life of Ride on Instagram as well. Princeton, you just can't threaten nobody in school, man. So you get in trouble and get suspended. Um, like, comment, subscribe, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. YouTube and then membership. If you can support, you know you can support in a multitude of ways, in a plethora, in abundance of ways you can support. One is by liking it. 
One is by commenting and one is by subscribing. And then you can also purchase the membership starting at three ninety nine. On that three ninety nine, and they go up to an excess price of twenty four ninety nine. You don't have to do the twenty four ninety nine, but if you want to. So that'll be it for the night. I'll call Best by tomorrow, and we go see what's going on with my camera because you know what I mean. I would just like my camera that I spent a couple dollars on. Oh. So we'll do that tomorrow. Let y'all know. Um, should be going live Saturday. If not, I'll let y'all know. I know I haven't been going live on a lot of Saturdays. So many. My Saturday has been so packed. And that's why I'm so upset that I haven't had the camera for those Saturdays because they have been, they've been really eventful. Hey, Jen C., with all the speed and weapons on offense, exactly how many points do you think we would score a game? If you ask me, I'm going to say 100. Because I like $100 bills. But a lot. Can I pinpoint a number for you? No. But a lot. A lot and enough to win a lot of football games. I know you like that answer. I know you like it. I know you like that answer because I love it. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Saturday, we'll let you know. Hello, good sir. I'm just sticking my head in the chat to wish you well. Thank you for all that you do to illuminate D. I love because I only love D. Have a great week. Professor, before you head out, please check your email in the following days. I will be emailing you. A lot has been calming down, so I will be emailing you. I have your email. Shout out to Tia Quay, so I'll be emailing you. So, yes, yeah, so we can get you up here. Cause we we need some some his, some historians, some history facts. Because Jay, he be trying to cheat me and give me questions about days that, I mean, about times where I was not even close to being thought of, you know. So. I will be emailing you this week. I appreciate it, Mr. Cryer, but that's my honest answer, Mr. Cryer. And yeah, Jake, so when I get professor on here, I want you to ask him the same questions. Because even last time when, when he wasn't, me and uh me and the chat, we actually was whooping you. And y'all can answer my riddle. My riddle was, you know, perfect. But okay, then okay, Professor, thank you. So yeah, that'll be it for tonight. Um It'll be it for tonight. Update you all on Saturday if we do a live Saturday. Okay, Jay, I got something for you next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, enjoy. Peace.